day. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Michael here. Um, just to give you a brief overview of today, we're just going to cover, Randy's going to hop on for a few minutes, and we're going to cover a new product that he's been working on, and he's been trying to get all the details and get a campaign set up so you guys can see it firsthand of, of, of uh, possibilities with this new product. Uh, I'll give you guys some updates on just um, some of the other things we're working on. And uh, also, we're just going to kind of revisit the survey plugin. We have some new members um, coming on and, and have been joining us. And so we've been getting some questions about the survey plugin. And for those of you that may be new that are on today, I did. Um, if you don't see the survey plugin when you uh, open up your store, um, it, sh it should be in the members area. And I'll get that link for you under plugins. Um, so with that being said, um, Randy's going to hop on. Randy, are you there? Can you hear, can you hear me OK? I am here. Awesome. Yeah, are you going to share your screen on anything, Michael? On uh, yeah. The... So yeah, let me get to. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll open up. I'm going to get to your campaign here. Hey, a couple a couple things, Michael. You mentioned uh, some of the new members. Uh, if you are a new member, welcome. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Thanks for your purchase of T Rex and. And uh, I hope we're doing everything that you need on, on your side for T-Rex and, and Printex. If not, certainly uh, send me an email and I will make sure that happens. Uh, also, if you're new, uh, we love to send you some swag. So we've got a lot of T-Rex gear that uh, we will send you for free. If you haven't received any ever, send me an email and you know where you live, your size, and I will uh, hook you up with some fun stuff. We want you showing off. Uh, the T-Rex gear. It's good for you. It's good for us. And uh, we like doing that. So if you haven't received any of that yet, make sure you do. Um, and um, I want to mention too, before we get into the the canvas art, uh, I know we've talked about it several times. So wine glasses, the wine glasses are just absolutely blowing up. I mean, we're getting 20, 30 orders a day. Uh, from different people. So, uh, you know, keep those things coming. I think that's been a real hit lately. And we're going to continue that. It's a it's a deal of the month, you know, on the wine glasses. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's the, the set of uh, like mother, like daughter for $12, you know, plus shipping. But it's going very, very well. And then there's several people using personalized wine glasses, and that's doing well. Uh, somebody's asking, I'm new. Can you tell me where to find the Bible cover pricing? Um, it should be in the members area. I had a question on that this morning. I followed that up with our developer guys to make sure that that uh, newest price sheet's in there. I'll give it to you, Michael. You can post it here too as well. Okay. Yeah, I saw that question. I was actually because um, you just posted about it yesterday, and then I got sidetracked with another question. But yeah, we'll get that back to you. Um, okay. As far as as far as the pricing. So I see uh, you've got just a, a little campaign that we threw up, and uh, we're, we've, we've taken this uh, St. Louis skyline. Uh, you know, I bought the uh, photo from Shutterstock. I did a few things to make it my own. I won't tell you my secrets on it. But, uh, you know, I own that photo, and, and, and if you have interest in selling that one, I'll, I'll give you the mock-ups. I'll give you uh, everything we have, and you're 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 welcome to sell that St. Louis wall art as well, uh, or certainly come up with your own. But I, I think that's an opportunity. There's been several that have been successful selling things like uh, you know my heart's in St. Louis, but I live in Chicago or whatever. So coming up with uh, uh, neat skyline pictures, especially around sports that you can buy and own, I think could be extremely successful. Uh, and um, what I'm doing, I do offer, you'll see on the price sheet, you can buy just the canvas and they can stretch their own or you can buy it framed up and all the pricing's in there. Uh, myself, when I'm selling, I'm just selling the, uh, the framed pieces only. And um, um, so I'm trying to keep my campaign pretty simple. They can pick either size. I've got mocked up in this campaign the uh, large or the extra large. And then I put together a simple size guide above it. If you want to click on that, Michael, you can show. Uh, uh, and that's just how I laid it out. I, I, I laid it out what the dimensions are on each panel and then the total dimensions, giving them a choice of large and extra large. 
and my approach on it is, is I'm not trying to compete with China. So uh, I, I think apples to apples, I'm pretty close price wise, but I've made our art bigger. Even the uh, large size is wider than what you're going to get from China. And then the extra large, you're not going to get that from China anywhere. And, you know, and I'm within about $10, $15 of what China will sell it and deliver it for. And uh, that's okay. I think if somebody wants uh, the wall art made in America and uh, you know delivered in a shorter time than and a bigger and a bigger piece, they're going to be happy with 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 all of us. Um, hey, Rand, I know a couple questions. Um, yeah. Just as far as uh, you know, what to submit if you're going to uh, you know pick a design, and I, I definitely advise you know buy. Buying um, a picture from something like Shuttershock or Adobe Images or whatever like that, so you own it. Um, yep. But as far as um, just dimensions and, and things like that, what should they be looking for? You know, that piece there is 300 DPI, and uh, I believe it was something like 8,000 pixels by 5,000, somewhere around there. Um, I think it's a very crisp image. I went in and I made a couple things mine, and I can just tell you what it was. I mean, I, I put the uh, the B1 bomber in there uh, because they do fly over the stadium, and then I and I uh, added some things in the jumbotron. It's a little cr crisper, but uh, I, I think even the images in the uh, bleachers and stuff like that are about as focused as you would see if you were sitting at home plate. So it's a pretty high quality photo with just 300 DPI. Awesome. Um... And so this prices that you have here, uh, so you're just kind of, uh, I know earlier we were talking about, you know, selling them framed or not framed. So it looks like you just decided to sell them framed. That's how I'm going after it. I'm going after it framed, you know, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to discount them too steep. Uh, I think on the uh, large, uh, you as the seller, your cost is, let me pull that up. I don't have it in front of me. Let me grab that. So I remember what I'm talking about. So on that five panel, the uh, large version, which is uh, two pieces, 24 by 12 by 24, two pieces, 14 by 28, one 16 by 32. Your cost on that from me is 103.96 plus 850 shipping. And then I just put some suggested retail next to those prices in there. Okay. And that's for the large. And then the extra large is $130 frame plus $850 shipping. Okay, I'm trying to pull that up so I can so I'm sharing my share my screen here. Uh, let's see. That was called something. Yeah, let me just go to scan. Canvas Wall Art PDF is what I dropped it in. There you go. There you go. So if you guys could take a look at that, I'll just drop, I'll drop, did you drop it in the chat? I did not. Okay. I will, uh, I'll drop that in the chat here in a second. Okay. So you guys, uh, let's see, have any questions on that? Of course, everything at that size is going to ship FedEx. It's going to be FedEx ground, but it's still about a, you know, three or four day shipping from, from me to about anywhere at the most. And, um, uh, it, you know, you're going to, it's going to be a three to four day production process as well. And Ken's calling you out on the B2, on the B1 bomber. He said that's a B2 bomber. You should know that. I don't. Okay. You won. <laughs> Okay, cool. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, opportunity with those. If you, I mean, obviously, if you can get a picture big enough, there's just you know, if you think about the niche that you're in, um, you know, getting a, a a good quality picture. I mean, you can you can really um, open up and market that a ton of different ways. Um, obviously, with just about any niche you can do. So if you are in like the family and grandma stuff. Um, have you tested? I know we were talking yesterday about um, so with with maybe personalized photos and things like that. Is that possible too? Just depending on the size. 
I yeah, we'll, we'll, you know what? I'll we'll we'll get to that in a second here. Um, just to be clear too, because Joanne's asking um, if those prices are framed or not. If you're looking at the PDF on the prices that I do have broken down, framed and unframed. What I'm showing off is just framed on my website there. And and the reason that you know we uh, I think Randy kind of do that because we were as we were kind of putting some of these campaigns together. And and we'll and I'm going to talk to you more about we you know with uh, the update coming, uh, you know we realize that just the size our size guide um, box is it, we need to probably add some type of a couple of variables so we can do more things with with if you have something like this where it's framed and you have different sizes and instead of trying to muddy up the page with a bunch of description we decided just on this one we're just going to offer it as framed and now you can always run two campaigns you can run them as um, you can run them as you know if you wanted to do one frame like this and one nine frame but you know just giving sometimes just giving people one option instead of a whole bunch of options it it helps with the conversions on the page and so uh, and also it allowed you to do some of this stuff down here where you can add another mock another um, mock-up photo to give them another angle and so you don't have all the stuff so I, I thought you did a really nice job with just putting the basic information here what people wanted uh, you know, you, you gave like a higher price and you know, you're saying how much uh, it is today and then, you know, a one buy button, there you go. You know, so uh, it, at something like this, um, without having to add all those variables, you can just offer, offer one, one type. So you want me to click on that, Randy? Yeah, there's a, you know, you were talking about a, a, a personalized uh, wall art. This is something I've been kind of working through to show off how we could do that. Now, a couple things I think that I need to do to make this campaign look better. And I like what I've been getting coached through from that other one is I think photographs are going to be, are much more effective than mock-ups and even a mock-up like this. So, uh, but the layout is going to work fine. This is something that most of you that have done well with the grandmas and stuff before, that was a, a pretty good design. The awesome grandkids, it's a manual uh, personalized program where they could put their, grandma name and then all their grandkids and upload a photo. Well, you know what? We might be able to be competitive on a on a single panel wall art canvas uh, when it's personalized like this. So this might be something simple that we could all uh, do well with. So I'm going to keep playing with the layout and what would be most effective. And um, but, it, but again, I think that design that we've used in the past on t-shirts could be a, a neat piece for a small single panel wall canvas. Yeah, I really like this. I, I like the, uh, the personalization part of this, especially with the the photo, a family photo or something like this. I mean, that's, um, and you, you know, they're, they're not too huge to where it's, some people may think it like may look gaudy or something, but you know, it looks like there's, there's frame sizes. And so I think this could be something um, really cool. Yeah, so, yeah. Think about it. Where's it going to go? It's not going to go behind the couch. You know, but I mean, right. you know, grandma or nana might it might be neat on a little easel, you know, sitting on the uh, on a table or or somewhere like the smaller size could, you know, or really in the in the uh, in what I call in our house the mud room or even one of the kids' bedrooms. Those kind of things would be kind of neat. Oh yeah, you know, so that's where I think it might fit in. But you know, a lot smarter people than me, so they might have better ideas. Absolutely. So. Um... Very cool. Is there any more questions on, on any of this stuff, guys? Let's see. Um, so it looks like, um, can we get the product import ex, uh, ex, um, to import directly to our site? Are, yes. are, are you talking? Yeah, you know, uh, I'll work it out with you, Michael, and you can set it up. Let me, let me, you can, when you can go in and just grab this campaign or these products, the personalized one and the, uh, the one we did with the St. Louis art, uh, you're, you're welcome to grab those products and drop them in the members area free for everybody. Uh, you're welcome to them. Okay. Uh, so yeah, guys, I will, um, after the webinar, I'll do that. I'll drop it in the members area. Um, and that way you guys can have kind of just a, a template to go off of and, if you want to try to sell that, heck, go for it. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's obviously very targeted. So, I mean, your target is kind of done for you. You can, there's a lot of tests you can do with it, uh, you know, and then you can 
play with some of the demographics. Obviously, this is a higher priced item. And we're going to get into some of the demo stuff, uh, demographic stuff uh, a little bit later here. But, um, you know, kind of what Eric Rockefeller was talking about last week when he discussed, you know, just going through those. And so this is obviously a higher price item. And so you might want to, you can always target it. Yeah. And that's the idea too. We've got to come up with some things with much better margins. And 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 truly, in my mind, I, I envision this more as a, a, where it's a funnel, and you're funneling somebody to this funnel campaign. And then think about this, where uh, and I don't, you don't have to go that deep in funnels. Um, you know, if right after that there was an upsell or a downsell for like pillows, and maybe if I was targeting St. Louis fans with that wall art, and then my upsell might be four pillows that just say L O V E in kind of cardinal colors you know, where I'm not infringing on anything, but, you know, if somebody's going to put that in their, in their, uh, behind their couch and then, you know, four pillows on there, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, very, exactly. So there's a lot of, a lot of things you can do with this. And I guess. So how would I go about submitting a photo for the canvas art? Uh, you see, I'm, of different stadiums or city skylines. Well, what I would do is I'd go out and I'd, I buy those photos, or unless you took those photos, and again, I need a high-quality photo, uh, 300 DPI by uh, you know 800 by 5, 8,000 by 5,000 pixels, say. And if you want to edit them a little bit or or add anything to make it more unique, you're welcome to do that. But that's the image I need, and then I take that and I run it through a, kind of a RIP program that turns it into this canvas. And essentially then what it does is it breaks it down into those five panels. And I do all that on my end. And then that way, uh, when I'm building that five panel, um, you know, we'll lay out together. Now, what you're looking at there, that's kind of a staggered up and staggered down shape, but they could all be, uh, uh, you know, lined up at the bottom and then they just stagger down. So there's multiple ways you can do it. You just need to communicate that to me. If you gave me the photo in your mock-up, I would take it from there. You know, again, on these five panels, I think, uh, you know, you're going to have an investment in the art and the layout and all that design. And so it's, uh, it's something that you want to hope to sell quite a few and me too. Exactly. Um, yeah, as, you know, I, I see a lot of this stuff coming through. I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, there's people out there that are doing stuff with superheroes and Batman and and, and just uh, all you know. I, I kind of see them come through the the newsfeed, um, and so you know, thinking along those lines, like like Randy said, as long as you have rights to the photo, it should be no issue. And so, um, I think it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, there's you know several questions about pricing and like you know you may have jumped in later, but we're going to drop that pricing in there on on what the uh, canvas costs and all the shipping, everything's on that. Uh, one question here though is uh, the shipping on the deal of the month wine glasses. Uh, wine glasses are four ninety five each. Uh, the deal of the month, it's you know what is it uh, nine uh, ninety for the two glasses is what the shipping cost is. Problem with the wine glasses is one, I'm able to ship it. Uh, um, at a, a first class at a lower cost, as soon as you have that second wine glass, it goes up to, to a, 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 a higher cost. Now, we're sending lots of people are buying three or four sets of them at a time because they've got two or three daughters, and um, there are some shipping advantages when we add two or three sets to it. See anything else in there, really, Michael? Do you? Uh, no, I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm trying to get, save this uh, so I can drop it in the chat for them now. But like I said, this will all be in the groups and the members area later too. <sighs> you know, again, if you've got some ideas on these canvas things, you know, reach out to me, even in an email. Send me a send me an email with the photo and your ideas, and then you know, maybe we'll even get on a Skype and we can chat about it. I want to. I want to. I want to crank these things up. Awesome. Um, okay, well, if you guys uh, have any more questions for Randy, I know he's got to get to a meeting, so we're going to just jump into some of the survey stuff. Um, 
Randy, uh, yeah, so if there's anything else about those, definitely feel free to tag Randy in Facebook uh, if, it's, if it's a lengthy thing or if you do want to uh, start, you know, ramping that up, always send him an email um, and, and Randy at printexting.com and, you know, you guys, you can discuss it. Sometimes that's that's much easier than trying to do it over Skype or, or even in the, one of the groups. But uh, Yeah, uh, also, too, like here, this is where the cost of the, for the framing be available. That's, what's, that's what you're looking at. I mean, it's, uh, it's either Canvas only. For like fifty-three dollars, or uh, the canvas and the frame, one hundred and thirty. That's that's it's that simple, right? Uh, one. What was another good question here? Oh, uh, if you could, Michael, they're asking for the uh, T Rex affiliate link again. Again, it's at the you know bottom of the trexecom.com. But if you don't know this, you, you, uh, we're paying a fifty percent commission. On uh, to any of the affiliates. So if, if if you like it and you've got people that would be interested in it, go set yourself up as an affiliate. You'll get 50% of that income. So if you get two people and you're paying $97 a month, you get two people to sign up. You get your site paid for basically. And uh, and then of course if 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 they buy a done for you site, you get half of you get half of that price as well. So we we really want to drive memberships. We want to reward you guys for. Uh, uh, turning people our way, and uh, that's a pretty good deal if if you're interested. Okay, so it's trex trexecom.com, correct? Yeah. And the the what you dropped in there, it's just it, the PDF didn't show up, Michael. It's just linking it to your hard drive. Uh, okay. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it. If anybody's got any questions or need, just reach out to me, either email or Skype. And uh, thanks, thanks for working with us. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Randy. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again. All right. All right, guys. So I am going to uh, give you a couple updates here. So I know that we are um, the the webinars. Uh, and here's a trex uh, trexycom dot, uh, dot com website and you can go through there I put it in the chat and find out about the affiliate stuff so a couple updates uh, the, the webinars uh, we are working on restoring those um, I just actually renamed everything in there nice and nice and easy for you guys to uh, to go through if you wanted to deleted some that were, were pretty old and and uh, they there's just uh, the files are are gone and you know they're there we're just trying to restore them so they they came out of the members area that's why you're getting um, Error messages when you try to when you try to go to one maybe from the Facebook group that I posted. So just hang tight. We're working on that. Um, also, we have lots of orders coming in for the color changing mug video, and I've reached out to those that um, that have already submitted video, and I am we are currently working on those. But I have gotten some feedback on them, and a couple of things uh, from Carl was uh, asking me. You know, he's got some feedback. He wanted it to be a little bit longer duration for when the design actually comes up on the mug after the coffee stops pouring and before the uh, call to action. So we're working on that and then we're working on a couple different music options. So for instance if you're doing something with like husbands and wives or grandmas or something like that or grandchildren if you want. I know the music on those is kind of you know it's kind of fast paced and so we're going to try to add a couple different more ballad type more you know, um, I don't know, just slower type music. So if you are trying to do like wedding stuff or stuff like that or, or whatever, um, like I love my wife, I love my husband, that kind of stuff, it could be the music can make a little bit more sense. So for those that have uh, already placed their orders, um, that those edits should be done um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm hoping. So uh, um, I'm going to give me just, you know, I, normally it shouldn't take too long to make, but I want to give you the versions of the what the longer uh, edits on them with the design showing up longer so just hang hang with me uh, you, you will get your videos but I want to make sure you get them correctly and then those who have had submitted uh, I will send you updated versions of those videos and um, you know I'll have a couple different music options and it will make a little make a little bit more sense so uh, that being said uh, those are the two things I wanted to uh, show you and for those of you that don't know let me just throw in the link here um, if you go into the shop Trex.com, and you can see our design packs also have some new uh, family and grandma uh, 
designs coming very soon. Within the next seven days, we'll have another uh, a pack of those. Some new, some new personal, lots of personalized stuff. So um, here's the the color changing videos that I'm talking about right here. So I can't hear that music one more time. And there you go. Um, I will get that. I have to save that PDF. I just can't find it, so I'll save that for you guys. Um, okay. So as far as the survey plugin, I wanted to show you a couple things uh, that I was I started doing uh, yesterday. For we are trying to collect some email addresses through our we are pop culture, which is um, a Christina Million a, a Facebook page that Candace Ryder um, she manages, and so we want to really we wanted to start collecting email addresses. For, for Christina Million fans using the survey plugin. And, and so we set this up yesterday and I just started running ads this morning. And I just wanted to show you that. And then, you know, there's a, there's a, there, you can use the survey plugin a couple different ways. If you're just, you can use it for, if you're trying to sell personalized designs. And I know Greg Ryder posted a quick minute and a half video in the members area yesterday. And I'll kind of take you through that again too. Uh, I'll have it pulled up. And then we, we did um, one where we're just trying to we're really just trying to collect email addresses to build a customer list and if you're not doing this you have to start um, you can use the opt-in builder you can use a survey builder both are kind of working the same with the same uh, way in the same fashion but uh, the survey is kind of where you can just ask questions and you know you can ask for whatever information that you're looking for so uh, a couple things I will show you how we set this one up uh, yesterday and then we're actually linking back to um, a, a, a store that we're trying to sell some of those um, uh, Christina Million shirts and the celebrity lifestyle brand stuff. So <clears throat> what I did is I went, and if you don't have this, I put this in the members area. This is the WP Trex. It's still called WP Trex survey, but uh, I put it under the, in the members area. Let me just show you there for those of the new one, new members here. If you're, if you should have it, if you don't, uh, when you open up your uh, store, if you come down here to plugins, you have the, the shipping banner or notification banner. There's a couple of videos how to install this. Usually, this is just a zip file, and you just upload it into your um, when you go to your plugins tab and just upload it. And then I put the Trex Ecom survey plugin also right here too. So when you click on view lesson, and you go over to downloads. There is your zip file. Okay. And so if you don't have it, it's very easy. You just come over here to your plugins, you hit add new, and then you just upload the zip file. Okay. Upload the plugin and then you just attach your zip. Okay, so the, the survey. The survey is a great tool to collect information. And mostly, really, what you want to be doing is start to build your list. So if you are in niche-specific things like uh, grandmas or family or pets, dogs, whatever, you, whatever you're into, you want to start building a list of people that are like-minded, obviously, that kind of go, coexist with your store, that have obviously the same, the same likes and interests. And that way, it's not just as you're building your list, you can really start to market through your email list and and really start to send them sequences and, and send them into funnels and all that kind of cool stuff. So what we did with this one is we, I'll just, I'll, so what we did with this one is we took, I kind of took her logo from the Facebook page and we're simply just on this one, we're simply just going to be giving away a shirt every week. And it's up to you how, what you want to give away um, in order to incentivize people to enter. So really we're kind of posing this as a, as just a, a, a contest where you enter your name and, answering three simple questions, three questions below, you're automatically entered for free. And then we let everyone know every week who the winner is. And so what I did is I just, I made it nice and you know, nice and short and sweet to the point. You know, I added just the logos up here. I kind of, you guys can mess with your pages and kind of do however you want to design them. But when I want somebody to come here, I don't want them reading a whole bunch of stuff. I want them to take action. And so the action that they need to take is to give me their email address. So the way I posed it with us, obviously with Christina Million, was, um, you know, I used this model and I thought it looked better than just the shirt. So it kind of made it a little bit more real. And I said, ask these three questions. What's your favorite Christina Million song? Okay, so that's why they think that they're actually answering something that has to do with her. Uh, what is your first name? And what is your email address? And so if you um, type this stuff in here, 
Let's see, I'll just enter mine again. What happens is uh, below that I wanted to put the contest rules, so I just wrote these up. And you might want to do something similar to this on the contest on the on your uh, survey page. And this lets them know that the, there's actually rules, and that this is not just doesn't look spammy, and that you're not just trying to get people's information and you know and actually not give them stuff. And so my idea is here we're, is we're going to actually you know we are going to be sending out one to two shirts a week to people, free shipping. And my idea is to start building up those those pick uh, those testimonials. So once people get their shirts, once, uh, you know, right now I'm just targeting women. So whether, you know, the young ladies or the, uh, the women get their shirts, I'm going to definitely request them to send a, send a picture back. We can post it on the page if they want, but we also can build testimonials with that, the, with that stuff, with actual people wearing the products and not just uh, on mock-ups and things like that. So again, this is something that is, not a quick fix. I mean, you can sink as much money into this as you want. Uh, at first, we're just going to be running like a $5 a day ad budget now just to kind of get it the, get it optimized and get people in here and see what the best way to go about it is. And we'll go over some of the ads that I ran too. So I just did winners will be rec selected at random. Um, you have to have a valid email address. And that's how you let them know that they'll be uh, notified. And that so also verifies and gives them a little trust of why you're asking for their email address. Uh, one entry per email address winners are picked weekly you can give them a time time period to respond and if not you know then another one will another contestant will be chosen so like I said kind of come up with your standards of how you want to do this I also wanted to make sure uh, just according to some of the hot jar videos that people are really they definitely check out your privacy policy they check out your your guarantees your, your refund tabs your you know returns and all that kind of stuff so I, I wanted to make sure that they saw at the bottom of the page that you know that your 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 privacy is valuable to us. We, you know, it's safe and secure. And then I just simply just linked over to the privacy policy, and then you can actually have that. Um, you want to put your terms of service and privacy policy on your campaign. So um, I'll go through that again. So first, I'll kind of take you through the submit entry part. Okay. So what, what we did is, as it's entering, you can set this for as long as you want. I set it for 15 seconds. Thanks for entering. You could be a winner. Keep on the lookout. By the way, get five dollars off this design today, and I put the um, I put the website to where they can buy it. Okay. Now you can set this up to where it automatically redirects over to that website, and it just takes them right to the right to the campaign. Obviously, it's brand recognition. They see the same shirt. You know, we'll probably go ahead and switch this out and put the model on there again but like I said we have it at $19.99 now it's $14.99 today so hopefully this is you know sending them back here so you can maybe get a sale with it with a um, discount incentive right away and but also you are have your pixel on your on your site and so as people go to visit um, you can start uh, gathering all that information on your pixel and then setting up a custom audience too you want to you want to grab those people in a custom audience okay so before we get into the ads and custom audiences, um, what do you, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to pause my screen for a second and try to try to get some questions answered in case you guys have any, and we'll go through how you set, how we set this up. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any questions yet? If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them now. I don't see anything new. Um, so we'll, Jay, I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask Randy about that other stuff. Okay, so if you guys are still with me, we'll just kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll get right into it. Okay. Okay, so when I set this up, it's a, uh, it, the new, uh, this is kind of where you put all your graphics. Obviously, this is where you want to put your questions or however you're going to want to do this. I mean, your your text about it, your design. Um, if you're going to do uh, just a, a bait, like a mug or something, whatever you're going to want to give away, this is where you're going to want to put your image. Okay, under here is where you're going to want to ask the questions. Um, you have the option of doing a text box or a text area. So usually, you know, you don't want them text in a whole paragraph. So you just want to keep the questions sh uh, short and simple. So that it's just they take one or two words or something like that so you just need a text box and then I'll show you how uh, personalization is involved in this too another cool way to do it in um, using personalized designs and then at the bottom I this is where I put my contest rules and and like I was saying this is where you want to enter uh, 
have your thank you page. So you have to create a thank you page. If you're going to do, uh, you know, if you're going to, I would kind of create something for each, um, each survey you may take. So you might have to name this something different or let yourself know how, but if you're kind of doing the same survey for a few designs, you could probably just create one thank you page. And that's what, that's what happens when you saw that thank you page is when you saw the thing loading and I told them whatever message I wanted to tell them. Okay. Um, and then down here you enter to your privacy policy links from your site so they have that okay and then uh, you can put your 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 header or if you don't want to use a header you don't have to if you want to put your logo at the top this is where you would do that okay so if you go over to thank you pages um, I'll show you that and show you some of the options there Okay, so on your thank you page, this is where this is where they see that uh, message. This is where they see the the next call to action. Get five dollars off this design today at blah 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 blah. But also, when you come down here, you can see that this is a redirect URL that you can use, and you can direct them to whatever uh, whatever site you want them to. So more than likely, you're going to be this now. This was actually going to a Shopify store, so I took them off uh, this this uh, Trek site and actually took them to a store where that was actually being sold. So that's a, obviously a little bit different, but you, like I said, I know many of you do have Shopify stores along with Trek. So you, if you, you have stuff anywhere else you want to uh, redirect somebody to, you can, and then we'll go over another one where um, the personalization short codes come in. Here's your delay time. You can set it for, I thought 15 seconds worked pretty well. It gives them enough time to, and, and then click over if they want. And then uh, also it's not too long. So, you know, you can mess with that a little bit. 10 to 15 seconds should be, uh, should be um, perfect. So I, it looks like the thank you page, you can put these links back in there if you want to, but they had them on the first one. So that's really up to you. So once you create this thank you page for your survey, that's where you enter it in when you're on your actual campaign. Okay. So again, um, I'll get into a little bit of the ads that I set up for this because I wanted to try two different things. And like I said, it just got to, just got them going and uh, let's see where did I have that okay so let's do campaigns and let's just refresh this so I wanted to do it a couple different ways and I wanted to try an engagement ad and remember we're only doing five dollars a day so you know it's not that it's it's gonna take a little bit a, a little time to, to let Facebook get out there and really start to show it and I wanted to do an engagement ad a PPE or you know, an engagement ad and then a, a clicks to website, which is now called the traffic uh, ad. So I wanted to try, uh, I wanted to get to people that usually click on links, but I also wanted to get this in front of people that like to engage, hoping that they'll comment on the shirt because then we can always go back with trust message and um, and retarget them with a trust message um, campaign and, and, and drive them to the sales page also. So what I did with this, uh, and I did it with both so I'm gonna see how this works and I might have to mess with it a little bit So I'm gonna give it about 48 hours to with the targeting that I have but I just wanted to show you some of the targeting Because um, I know Eric touched on this last Thursday, and I just I wanted to spend a little bit more time with you guys You know going over this unless in case you're not doing some of this so on this particular yeah. one You know Christina Milian is obviously she's a young artist um, younger generation, so I am I'm going Going to for now leave Instagram on. I do want that ad going through the Instagram uh, news feeds just because that's, I mean, that's right up her alley. So normally, if you're doing grandma stuff or if you're doing certain things that are maybe not, um, I would say a younger generation would be interested in those kind of designs, I would just not even use Instagram. But in this, in this case, I did decide to use Instagram. And I just wanted to really test it out too. I started at five dollars a day. I'm going to do five dollars a day. I started with twenty to see if I can get it jump started. So we'll see. But I'm going to put that back to five dollars a day. Um, on this one, I started with women eighteen to forty. Um, normally, I think this is probably should be a little bit lower, maybe like thirty-four. But I wanted to see if they are clicking on links or if they are engaging. If there are women that are in their forties that really like her still, I want to find out. So I, I'm going to target women eighteen to forty. Okay. And then in the first uh, interest, I'm just going to put Christina Milian, right? So, you know, if you were to take, so what I did with this is I, I layered this with some other purchase behaviors because really in the end, I do want them, since they are getting redirected back to 
a sales page, I want them to maybe be interested in buying. So what I wanted to do with, without these, these, um, this layering here, without these behaviors, the Christina million would just, it was still a really large audience. It was, I don't know with, with, uh, women, even with women, 18 to 40, it was still like, it was, it was pretty large. So what I wanted to do was see some of these behaviors. So I wanted to layer this down. So I narrowed the audience down, narrow further, and I can keep going with this, but I wanted to try some of these behaviors because I think they get lost in some of the detail targeting that we're always trying to find. And I remember I took what Eric said last week really to heart that with the pixels being so smart now and the Facebook pixel only having one pixel and they're just really, as we go through, they're just really becoming, as you start to convert on things, really the, the targeting becomes a little less, um, I would say less important than, than what I think we, we value it as. Obviously what you want to target, right? You need to have detailed targeting, but with some of these, um, demographics I thought was cool so I want to just take you through some of them so on this one I, I wanted to layer it to bring the audience down a little bit and I wanted to see find people that maybe have uh, purchased you know with their purchase behavior so on this one I went to behaviors and you can always see how you get there because there's a lot of stuff in these demos and interesting behaviors and more categories so this always shows you exactly how to get there uh, these links right here so I just went to behaviors and this was a purchase and like I said there's digital activities um, take some time to go, to go through this stuff, especially if you're going to start doing that wall art. You can target people that make a certain amount of money. You can target people that spend a certain amount online. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that you don't want to miss out on, and, you, and it, you'll never know unless you test it, okay? So um, I went to purchase behavior, and let's see, uh, clothing, uh, women's, and then under here they have really cool stuff so if you're doing just uh, like jewelry or fine jewelry you have you know women that buy jewelry here you have women that buy fine jewelry accessories you know all the accessories that come with it so I picked low ticket um, apparel and accessories so you know $19.99 is pretty low ticket but that's not you know also didn't then it kind of come up to mid ticket apparel and accessories so maybe I'm just gonna add that in right now my audience was like about hundred and sixty just adding that in it brought it up to two hundred thousand people um, young women's apparel okay so women's fashion and apparel buyers so this is stuff like if you're if some for the people that are doing some of the canvas shoes out there I mean there's all this kind of information here that you want you want to try you know there's all this stuff in, in these behaviors that you really need to investigate you know you can go into demographics you know generation you know baby boomers obviously you know maybe millennials and generation X would be a good one to find for, for Christina million, you know, so all these life events, um, I was on the phone with somebody yesterday and they just didn't even know she, she was, she saw this on a webinar, but she couldn't see the screen that well. And she didn't know, even know how to get here. So this is, this is for people that have, are just, you know, starting off with Facebook advertising. There's so much, there's stuff that I haven't seen in here and I haven't spent enough time. So I just really wanted to show you guys that there's, there's other ways to get to the audience that you're looking for than just going through one layer of targeting. And we're really, um, like for those that are selling the wine glasses or, or, you know, newlyweds, um, look at this stuff, newlywed one year, newlywed three months. I mean, you can come up with designs on the wine glasses that, uh, you know, you, you target those to people that are just newly married and they see that come. I mean, how awesome is that? So I wanted to show you that. Um, so I did a PPE ad and I also did, a click to website which is called a traffic ad now because I want to try to get people now so far I haven't any clicks on the link but um, like I said I just got it starting I'll take you back out there and I wanted to test some at first to see which which one might be which one might be better so you know right now I just have 14 engagements um, I think 10 10 cents an engagement which is great so like I'm like I said I'm gonna give this a couple of days maybe even three days to just spend and just try to find the audience that I'm exactly looking for if I don't see a lot of action maybe I'll go back and mess with some of the behaviors and maybe take one or two out or add something different but I wanted to show you that um, let's go back to your I think so the way you check your your list is when you go to your survey pages and you can go to this link right next to the survey that you started and you just hit view list and it looks like, okay, that's me and Greg testing it. So it looks like today we already have two, uh, two 
emails just off of the um, off the page. So I, I'm sure I actually went to the page. This is how I posted it on the page here. And I, if you look at this, when I first posted, I got really good, really good organic reach. Uh, and I don't think this is this is up to date yet, but I could tell that the organic reach started to, to take off a little bit. So. Um, like I said, we got some, we already have a couple of email addresses and we'll see how we do. So this is my page post in, in case you want to wondering how I did it. I did the 700 by 700 for the uh, engagement ad and, you know, I just really simple, short and sweet, click below to enter, you know, you put your link in there, use some of these emojis. Um, a lot of people are saying it just really catches people's eyes when they're, when they're going through their feeds. And so, uh, you know, I tried that, I made it very simple. And that's how I did it. So normally you can you can do a, a, a traffic ad on this and uh, on a page post, but I was having some issues uh, with Facebook saying that I needed to add a call to action button. And they were not giving me the option off of this page post. So I have um, a, a question into them to see um, what's what's not going right with that. But I did create a, a 1200 by 628 ad also until they answer my question because I just wanted to get the get it going. And let's see if I can find that. Uh, okay. Oh, I must have closed out of my ads. Oh, no, there it is. So I'll just show you that real quick so you can see what it looks like. And for those of you that don't know, uh, normally like a, a dark post or a conversion ad that is not posted on your page or a website is a 1200 by 628, okay? And it's that rectangle. Um, it's that rectangle ad that you see through the news feeds. Okay, so this is that one right here. So I just, I just, I just did it a, a little bit different in Photoshop and made the rectangle. And so that's how I got the the link ad going, just so I can get it going to see if I can get some some clicks on it. So right now I don't have any clicks. It's reached 380 people, but no clicks on it yet. So we'll see. We'll let that go for a little bit. Okay. Uh, any questions on that stuff, guys? Guys, before I show you the personalization part of that, which is really cool. Let me go to my questions here. Okay. Um, okay, so as far as the celebrity shirts, no, we have, you can go to the members area in, let's see, um, we're, you can you can definitely market uh, celeb uh, Christina Milian. We would love for you guys to do that. Um, I'll show you where it's at in the members area. Um, so let me let me do that while I'm looking at that. I'm coming. So another question is, um, let's see, how do you get the shirt to them? So on that, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to go kind of randomly once you start building your list. You're simply just going to randomly pick somebody, okay? And then you just you get with Randy, and um, you know you kind of uh, you tell him what you're doing, and you can just create like a, your, uh, your own order, like your own CSV. So if you're doing a giveaway, uh, let Randy know exactly what you're doing. That you're going to be sending in a manual CSV order, and really what you want to do is you just need to get um, the shipping. You need to get their shipping address and you just need to get their size so you can fill out your own um, csv for randy and like i said you're going to be paying for the shirt you're going to be paying for the shipping but at the same time if you do one a week or tw twice a month or something you know you really want to make sure that you, you kind of put that investment in there and then you're just going to send that csv to randy and probably cc keith on it but randy will give you all those kind of details how you do that um See what else we have here. Okay, so Tina, a trust message. And if you haven't even used trust message, it's it's definitely worth checking out. A uh, trust message is a way to let me just put that link in there so you guys can. Trust message is a way to uh, uh, send uh, personalized messages to uh, people who comment on a post. So. A lot of these things, if you if you're really looking to to drive comments and then maybe hit them with a message, um, let's just go. Let me log out here. 
you can you can go back and it, this is I mean this is just a great tool. Uh, they do a great job with training. They show you how to write messages. But basically, you know, if you drive, say you drive a, a post and it has 75 comments with people like, wow, I love that, or that looks awesome, and they don't, and they don't buy right away. Well, that's okay. You know, it usually takes people a little while to, to, to think about buying something. So this is just a way to, is to send a reminder that, hey, uh, you know, we saw that you commented. Thank you for commenting. Um, hope you're having a great day, but if, in case you wanted to any more information or in case you forgot about it, here's the link to the page and you can offer from a discount or something. But they kind of cover that all through the trust message training, but I definitely advise you. It's, it's just a way that you can uh, connect with people that are interacting with your page through the messenger uh, on Facebook, okay? And all your questions, you know, I'll put this in the chat here. So eventually, uh, what we'll want to do is um, we'll, hopefully we want to get as many comments as possible. So that's just another way to reach to retarget the audience that's already interacted. Okay, and so let me get, I'm trying to find the member site again. Yeah, trust message is, uh, I advise you to go there, check it out, watch the videos, and uh, definitely uh, I, would, I would test it out. Let's see, where is that? Okay, so the Christina million and stuff, I, we are reorganizing the members area. I will get that to you guys. I can't find it right now, and I don't want to waste too much more time looking for it, but I'll find that for you for the Christina million. I've, I think, uh, Jay, yeah, Jay, you asked that. Uh, just make sure you hit me up after, so I'll, you, I'll keep a reminder, but I'll put it in the members area and a link to everything if you are interested in doing that, because there are some really cool designs that uh, they have for her, and she, we would love to, to, to start selling a lot of that stuff too. So we actually we do have that license and you are able to, to sell it. Um, Tina, as far as trust message, working on ads that isn't, yeah, I think you can actually uh, do dark post ads also. I believe that is, and I'm not an expert on it. I've only, I've been using it, um, just brand new to it. So like I said, check out that site. And trust message, they, they do, um, you know, they do, somebody's asking, I heard people get their account bad by using auto commenting tool like trust message, especially when they have a lot of comments. Is that true? Jay, yes, there is, there is some stuff out there that, you know, what, what used to happen is people would just send the same exact message out. And so Facebook puts that up as definitely spam because you're just hitting up the comments with the same message, the same link. And, and what, and Facebook is actually, they want you to interact with your, your page. That's why they've made, they've made it to where people message you. They rate you how fast you get back to them because they want to make sure that you're a page that's just not there and that are, it's not any value to Facebook and their users. So that's why they've made it um, easy to message people and for them to message you. So Trust Message uses um, a lot of short code to where you can use the person's first name. You can use the exact day it is. Uh, you can put codes in there for all kinds of st stuff, like whatever you know, product description. I think there's just different ways to do it to where you, when you're messaging them, you're actually using their name and you're using. You can comment on like the day of the week, and so Facebook really um, see that as something like so spammy. You're actually trying to interact with them. It's just a way to do it quickly. So um, it's all in their terms and service and all their uh, FAQs. If you guys go there and check it out, like I said, it's totally up to you. And if you want to test it out, I would. Um, but I know that um, it could be really successful and it can really help you boost your sales and and that's what we're all looking for, okay? Uh, let's see here. Looking at any other questions? Um, can you, let me see here. Do we, okay, so Randy's gonna get the Bible cover pricing. Okay, so the Bible cover pricing, um, Armando, I will get that to you soon. Probably like give me 15 minutes because uh, I don't know if Randy was going to search for it. And the, it, it should, honestly, if you search the the the, uh, the Facebook group, it should be, uh, I think he posted it yesterday or the day before. So if you just search Bible cover pricing right now, I know you want to go live with your stuff. I'll go ahead and do that if you can't wait for me to get it. I just don't know it offhand, so. 
Okay, so going through some more questions here. Um, do you take out an ad to your original campaign when making changes or being a whole new one? This is from Joanne. Add to your... So I'm just trying to understand that question, Joanne. Do you take out an ad to your original campaigns when making changes or begin a whole new one? Oh, when I make changes, um, are, are, oh, are you talking about the Facebook ad? No, I don't create a whole new one. Um, if I, I don't ever really, unless if it, especially if it's, if it's, if it's working, you don't really want to touch it. Um, if you're getting good engagement, if you're getting good costs and good, you know, low uh, clicks per link, a low cost, you know, you want to, you know, but if it's something that you want to change, you don't have to do a new ad. You can just go in and edit and just save it. Okay. So real quick guys, um, for those that haven't seen this, let's see. I haven't seen this on a personalized site. I wanted to show you that real quick. And like I said, this is also in the, uh, the Facebook group, but I wanted to kind of show you. Can you guys see my screen? Okay, there we go. So let's see here. So again, this, this, there is another way to do this to where you're actually using personalization. And the opt-in build and the survey uh, plugin kind of work in the same way, um, a little different way to get email addresses. But um, you can also set these up to where, um, when you're doing a, a personalized shirt, when you're when you ask your questions. So say something like this is where we're trying to get to this this page and redirect them back to a page where they have their first name and then something like this, like class of 1987. So you know. Um, this is just an example of, of something you can do. We, we kind of use like the, the, the Hurricanes logo and all that stuff. Obviously, you can't just take straight logos, but this is kind of stuff that you can do um, with other designs and other concepts. But uh, the, main, the main important part of this is how you set it up. Okay, so again, this is using a survey plugin, the, the Trek survey. And on this one, we have it set it up to where when you enter in your uh, – your, your personalized question. So on this one, we're trying to get the year they graduated and we're trying to get their last name because that's what the design calls for. Class of 1987 and then uh, the last name. So when you actually, when you set that up, you can actually set it up to where this, you have, when you, when you ask your question and you, you click your personalization box and we'll give you the choice of doing last name, first name. Okay. So now I know it says last name, that's a little confusing at first name, but we're using the last name uh, personalization field as, as, our, uh, as our year, okay? And then the last name, the way they set this one up, uh, they use the last name as actually as the, the first name uh, code was their last name here. So again, you can only get two since we, you can only do two forms of personalization, but the way they have it set up is last name, first name. So you just have to remember exactly what your code is that you're using for your, your design. So um, again, just, just make sure you have that correct. So uh, when you actually go to set up your thank you page, okay, your thank you page is going to, remember, this is going to redirect you back to uh, a campaign. So at this point, when you've created your, you've created your survey page, you, you come in here, you create your thank you page. But what you're really going to want to do first is create the campaign that says thank you, that redirects you back to this, okay? Because this is an actual, a separate campaign, okay? So once you're able to do that, you can see that at the end of your, because uh, you need that campaign, you need that URL to put in here. Because once this thank you says thank you for your entry, blah, 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 it's going to redirect them back to here. So at the end of your campaign URL, this is where you can actually add the, the, the personalization short codes. So it shows up as soon, uh, it shows up from what they enter. So on this one, we wanted the first name, which was um, the year, and, or this was like the, the last name actually, and then this L name code was the year that they graduated. So all you do is you hit, you know, you, after the slash, you put, you put your code in here, and you can copy it from right from here, and then you put your dash in, in between, and then you put your, your other code if you're using it. If you're only using one, then you just use one, one, one form of short code, okay? Um, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. So the whole idea is, let's go back here, and we'll just show you. The whole idea is when that, that short code is transferred over right to 
the shirt. And so you take them to their products and it has their name and the year they graduate or if it has a grandma name or whatever you're going to do. So this one is, we'll just do this. Just use some here. Okay, so when I hit submit, first goes to the thank you page. It processes the entry. Now this is like obviously you, you want to have some call to action, but then you can see that it took up in your URL here. You can see that it took those those two forms of personalization and it automatically put it right on your shirt. And when you set up your campaign, this is how it's going to look. So it's got your name. Uh, that code in here and it's got you it, it actually you know entered it in here so on this campaign is where you can put the short code stuff this the short code too so it shows up in your description okay I thought I had that pulled up so I can show you guys that too okay so yeah so that when you're setting up your campaign for that here's where you put your actual short code here for the awesome name it's right here and then the last name. So remember that is the, the year and then the last name and that's where you get this, you know, your last name and then the year. Okay, so um, there's definitely more extensive training on this. I just wanted to make, make sure I showed you guys this. I know some of you haven't seen it again, but look on everything and it shows up on every product. Okay, no other software does this. So once you get one done and you, you, set, you go through the few steps to set this up, you can just duplicate this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you can do it with non-personalized, you can do it with personalized stuff. Personally, I think this is just, this is pretty awesome where the name pops up and if they did go, you know, you can target people that graduated from Miami or you can, you know, whoever you're targeting, you can really, you know, have a lot of fun with this. When people see this, it's, it's pretty cool. So again, another way to build your list and then another way to get products in front of them, okay? And hopefully make, get some conversions going. All right, so I'm going to take some more questions here. And see. Okay. So that is, and like, oh, yeah, so that is, um, oops. That is a survey. So there's a couple different ways to do that. I hope I, I kind of explained it. Um, obviously, you want to try to run an ad budget. I would, you know, I would think you would want to run something until you start seeing a lot of a lot of emails come in. And if and if you are running, just keep it going. If you're running a five dollar a day ad, or if you want to do, um, you know, whatever it's whatever your budget allows, um, it's definitely worth um, getting people onto your list, getting people into your store. And that way, you can just you know you can market to the, all the products that you have coming out. You have a list to go through, and important for you and I remember um, last week um, I know Greg talked about it and Eric followed up is you know a lot of their orders a lot of orders from Eric coming from retar uh, retargeting ads and stuff like that but also his lists are huge you know so you can send out you can send out a, a an email with some products and you don't have to mess with any Facebook ads you don't have to worry about targeting at all so those are just some of the benefits that you have with the Trex Ecom plugins. And again, the opt-in builder is, is similar, very, very similar, where you can redirect people back to campaigns, personalized, or, or what have you, so. Um, uh, what's the deal with trust message pricing? Anthony, I don't know. What do you mean by that? I don't know what the pricing is exactly. Just go ahead and follow that link. I, I, I don't I don't think it, it's it's a pretty simple site and I know that one of the main questions was is, is does Facebook allow this so you go ahead and check out all their FAQs. Um, we'll do a, maybe one on the next webinar we'll actually show a trust message campaign and we'll take you through it. So that's a good idea because we have a lot of questions on it. Um, so we'll definitely do that. Um, so what I will do is I'll get two things as soon as we uh, are done with today. I will get the Bible cover pricing as fast as I can. I will update you guys as soon as the, um, the members area about the webinars replays. And uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and the Christina Millian stuff. So check your Facebook, check the Facebook group over the next hour. So I should have all that information there. And um, I will have this replay for you. And also, okay, one more question. 
Okay, so it looks like Ken. Okay, yeah, so it looks like Ken found got that. Uh, oh yeah, I'll put the price list in there. Um, your cost for print text will be uh, for the Bible covers twenty five dollars and eighty cents for the larger size. Um, we suggest they retail about forty six dollars, and then the smaller size is um, twenty three dollars and forty cents, and retail for about thirty eight dollars. Okay, shipping is four ninety nine is what Randy charges for shipping on those. Okay, so again twenty five dollars and eighty cents for the large size Bible covers and twenty three dollars and forty cents for the for the smaller size. Cool. Everyone sees it now. Yay. Cool. All right, guys. Well, if you have any other questions, hit me up in Facebook or Skype. I hope you're having a great day. Get out there. Get some things done. Make some sales. Let me know if you need anything uh, else. And uh, we have a um, a guest speaker on. Oh, let me see who this is before I hang up. On Thursday, where's my calendar? Calendar, 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 where are you? Okay. okay. So Thursday, the 27th, we have Erwin Dominguez, okay? He is, um, he shares uh, number one thing needed to be successful in e-commerce. You guys are not going to want to miss that. So tune, turn, tune in on Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Erwin Dominguez is going to be our special guest speaker. And uh, yes, I've had a lot of requests for Eric. Uh, again, he had just reached out to me today, so he is planning to join us again over the next maybe next week. So I'll let you guys know about that. So looking forward to it. All right, guys, have a good one. Talk soon.